What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be working with iOS. In this video I'm going to show you how to take a file or an image and upload it to S3 using AWS Amplify storage category. So let's take a look at our app. It's extremely simple. We're going to first already have an image selected. We're going to be using one of the SF symbols images. We're going to upload that image. We'll download that image and then we should have it presented to the screen. Really simple, really straightforward, and very quick. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First, let's start off by initializing an Amplify project by entering in Amplify init into the command line. I'm gonna go ahead and simply enter in all the default values for each of the prompts. Once our Amplify project is successfully created, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the terminal. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enter in Amplify add storage to add the storage category to our project. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and select all the default answers to each of these prompts by hitting enter. And since auth is required by the storage category, we're gonna to need to add that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the default values for the auth category, and then it's going to go ahead and actually create the bucket for our project. When we get down to auth or guest users, I'm gonna make sure that we specify both auth and guest users because we're not gonna be adding in an auth flow to our project today. But I'm gonna make sure that I do all, uh, or control A to select all for authenticated users and control A to select all for guest users as well. And we don't need a Lambda trigger. Now that our storage category is successfully set up, let's go ahead and clear the terminal once again. And then we can start off by doing amplify push dash y which will upload our storage configuration and our auth configuration to the back end generate those resources and we'll be good to go once our resources are all updated in the cloud we could start heading over to our xcode project so let's go ahead and open up xcode and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by going up to file and we're going to add in our packages we're going to need the amplify uh, framework in our project so let's go ahead and enter in the github repo and you'll see that it's under aws amplify slash amplify ios we'll go ahead and select that one we'll add that package and then um, we're going to simply add in the amplify the storage and the auth categories to our project and there we go it's done loading and just like i said we need cognito auth we're going to scroll down, we need Amplify and we need AWS S3 storage. Add those packages and we're all set. Let's go ahead and head over to our app object of our SwiftUI project. And down here at the bottom, I'm gonna create a new function called configure amplify. And this is going to simply configure the auth and the storage categories for amplify. With the configure amplify method all set up, let's go ahead and make sure we call it from the init method. And just like so, we'll be able to configure Amplify every time our app launches. Head over to the content view and add the following two properties right here at the top. And as you can see, we're gonna have an image key. This is gonna be essentially what the name of our image is going to be called. And then we also have the image, which is a state property. And this is going to let uh, SwiftUI know whenever the image is updated with a value. Next, let's go ahead and create the upload function so that we can actually start uploading a photo to our backend. So we create this upload image function and we're gonna be using this house image, which is gonna be pulled from essentially uh, the SF symbols, right? And it's gonna just be the house. And this makes it easy so that we don't have to work with outside images or whatever, but you can use images however you can access them. From there, we're just simply going to take the image and we're gonna convert it to data. And we're gonna be using JPEG data in this instance. And we're not gonna do any compression because this image is gonna be small enough. So once we have that image, we can actually use amplify storage and then we use the upload data method in order to upload that image to our backend. So all we need to do is we need to provide an image key, which we have right here. We're just gonna call it house icon. And then we also have the house image data. So once we have those two, we're gonna get a, a, a callback right here, which is gonna pass in a result. The result is gonna be able to be switched on and we're gonna have two different cases. We'll have a success case, which is going to be the uploaded data that's provided back. And then we can just simply print that data or we have the failure case, in which case we're gonna be provided an error. 
Now, once we have our image uploaded, we also want to be able to download it. And it's going to be relatively simple. Uh, we're going to be using a very similar approach to download the image. So let's go ahead and create our download image function. And as you can see, it's also going to be using Amplify Storage. And the method that we're going to be using here is called download data. All that's required is that we provide an image key. Once again, we have that stored up at the top. It could be whatever. It could be unique. It could be a timestamp, whatever you want. And then we have our callback. And once again, we have our result. We're going to switch success or failure. If it's successful, then what we want to do is we want to make sure we return to that main thread. We uh, update our image with the image that's uh, created through the provided data that was downloaded. Or we could use our failure, show an error, or whatever we want to do. Right. And then from there, let's go back up towards the top and then we can start updating our UI. Let's go ahead and keep the UI extremely simple. And what we'll do is we'll create a V stack, which is going to have three different children in it. The first child is going to be an image. And this image is only going to be shown if our self dot image right here has a value in it. The only time that we do update that value is down here in our download image on the success in on the main thread, right? So if we do have a value for image, then we will show our image and we'll uh, essentially use this UI image initializer. And then we're just going to make it look all sexy, right? We also have two different buttons. The first button is going to be the upload button, and that's going to allow us to call our upload image function right here. And then we have the same for a download button, and it's going to call our download image button right here. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run the app and see if it works. All right, and here we go. So let's see, we successfully have configured Amplify. So that's a good sign. And we see our UI right here. We have two buttons, upload and download. Obviously we wanna do upload first. We do upload and we can see some data logged and we can also see that the house icon is being logged right here, which we show the upload data right here. And then let's go ahead and hit the download. A button and let's see if it pops up and of course our image pops up so it does look like we were able to upload and download the image the last thing that I want to show you is how you can actually view this image in the back end in our s3 bucket so if we head back over to our terminal and we type in amplify console we'll actually be able to open up the amplify console and navigate uh, to S3. So we hit Amplify Console in our terminal and then we select AWS Console. Once it's all done loading, we're going to scroll down. We're using File Storage. We'll select that. You can actually see that there's an option to view in S3. We hit that. Then all we need to do, since this was publicly uploaded and we do have guest access, what we could do is we could go to public. We can select the house icon and then you'll actually see a download option right here. We download it. We can open it. And as you can see, I can see the house icon. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you see how easy it is to actually upload an image from your iOS project up to S3 using AWS Amplify. If you have any questions or you want to see any different topics covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for your time. Go out there and keep coding passionately.